Hi everybody, welcome to my Unruly Housewife channel. Today I'm going to show you a few more little bits that I've got from my doll's house. Um, apologies that it's not a polymer clay video yet, but I have got one of those in the works, so um, look out for that. It's um, about making miniature books, so they'll be useful not just for like um, miniature sets and doll's houses and things, It'll also, they'll also be good for charms. So. Um, this time, last time I showed you some things I got from Amazon and this time I'm going to show you some pre-loved things that I've bought and um, one or two other things. So here we go. The first thing is this. My kitchen did not have a fridge in it. So I've got this fridge freezer and um, I didn't realise how amazing some of these things are. <laughs> So this is my fridge freezer and it's got like the proper little bit for milk bottles and that in the door. It's also got, this didn't come with it, but I also have this butter dish. So that's pretty cool. It goes in there. And um, look at this. This is what made me laugh. Look, it's got actual, put it down so I'm not wobbling it all the time. It's got actual freezer drawers. So <laughs> they actually come out and they've got that little bit in the front. What on earth? Is it me or is, am I being childish? Um, <laughs> Pre-loved things often have a little tiny problems with them and I'll discuss that in a moment after I show you the wardrobe. Okay, so this is the wardrobe that I bought. I could only see it from the front online, um, but when you look inside again, it's just full cool stuff. Let me show you in there. I keep fiddling around with the focus because that's what I'm like. Um, it's got little drawers again that come in and out so you can put your little things in there. It's got a little hanging rod inside so it's just like a proper little wardrobe. Now the problem I had with it um, was that it kept the door, this door was flopping open all the time and it was really getting on my nerves so I thought about it. I like to create... Um, so I like to solve problems and I remembered that I had this which is glossy accents ranger glossy accents and so what I did this is what you use to make like um, little uh, raindrops and things if you make models so what I did was I put this I put it a blob of it inside there and it's kind of rubbery so what it did was whoops it created a little, like a little rubber stopper thing. And that now clips in. So that's um, really good. So glossy accents is pretty useful if you want to um, do things. And also what I did to the fridge freezer was this door was hanging at a really bad angle. And um, when I looked inside, there was too much play on this hinge. So I pulled it to where it needed to be and I filled up the gap with glossy accents and let it dry. And um, it's, it's pretty much straight now. It's, it's, it's a lot better than it was. I'm really, really fussy about things. That's why it takes me ages to make things. Um, now, I was talking to you before, I think, about how people fix things to shelves and stuff on their, um, on their models. And I didn't want things glued down to shelves, like in my kitchen and stuff like that, because I want to be able to play with my toys. <laughs> I want to be able to set different scenes in my house if I want to and so um, anyway I found out that like people who do miniature things have this and it's called tacky wax and it just looks like wax now some people order it and get disappointed because they think it's going to be in like a massive shoe polish tin <laughs> and it's only a little bit so check the size if you buy it but I bought this and I'm going to try it out I haven't really tried it out properly yet but what it does is it makes a little you scrape it out make a tacky little ball of wax and that will hold things it does I, I tried it out just a tad and it does hold things really strongly um, but it is it does wash off and it's sort of a halfway house um, to glue so yeah tacky wax give that a go or at least now you've heard of it because I hadn't heard of it before <laughs> my chair creaking I've got a list today because I keep forgetting to tell you things oh yeah so when I bought my uh, pre-loved stuff I also bought a three-piece suite and it was um it looked like this it was stripy um but it was quite grubby and so after two coats of white it still looked like that because I thought I was trying to find out ways to dye things and then somebody said to me you know what just paint it and it will look like leather so I painted it with white, a couple of layers of white, and it you could still see the stripes. 
and now it's had two layers of white and two layers of green you can still see little imperfections and things it's still a bit iffy so i'm going to do probably another layer so what i'm trying to do anyway is using just acrylic paint i'm trying to turn this stripy fabric sweep that i had into a green leather sweep and you know if it works it works if it doesn't okay well at least i tried i made some knitted things for my house I'm such a child. Can you tell I haven't got any parents anymore? My parents have both died. I'd have to come on the internet and show you things. I made um, a little rug and a little floor cushion for the nursery, or it could possibly go into a doll's bed, I suppose. And I just knitted those. I mean, why am I even showing you? I don't know, but they're cute. So there they are. And also, I butchered this old cardigan of mine cut bits out of it because I felt that the funny torn little blouse um, that my lady doll was wearing and was really a sort of unfinished looked too scruffy so I made her a jumper <laughs> I made her a jumper out of the, the ribbing from this and I have to say she does look tremendously frumpy <laughs> All the sort of finished edges I put at the bottom and then I just rolled this over at the top. I sewed up the back. I had to make it wide enough at the neck that it would slide up over her body because her arms don't go very far. <laughs> but she does look a bit of a frump now, I have to say. So that's a bit of a shame. Um, and last, oh, the last part of this section, I'm going to show you a new doll. And I bought her. I didn't make her. She's not pre-loved. She comes from something called, what is it, uh, Town Square Miniatures. So, if you ever see that, they're made in China. but And she's a friend for my lady doll, and she's pretty nice. She's made out of plastic, not porcelain. Um, these dolls inside are all kind of like foam. don't know if you can see that, like kind of foam rubber. Not very, um, not very attractive. But they are extremely um, flexible, so they do have that. So I can sit her down and things like that. Her arms don't bend. but This dolly here is, uh, her arms are much more bendy and stuff, but she can't, and her knees, but she doesn't really sit down because she doesn't bend very well in the middle. She's um, pregnant. <laughs> She's a bit smaller than this doll. These dolls are kind of six feet tall if, if you did the 112 scale. So she's a more of a average kind of height for a woman i think but she's her best friend and she comes around um to talk <laughs> and i will go further into that madness whoops in a minute so um yeah that's that's the uh she's got nicer hair as well so that's my update on things that i've bought for my doll's house or miniature projects or whatever you want to call it now the um what i'm going to do now is absolute madness <laughs> I'm going to explain to you how I have uh, thought about the family who live in my house because it's really impossible for me to decorate the house, I felt, if I didn't know what kind of people were living there. Does that make any sense? So if you're not interested in insanity, um, leave now. <laughs> if you are, here we go. So I wrote a little backstory for my family and then I did a very... Uh, let me spoil then. I did a really messy thing over it so i've decided the dad is chad charles chadwick and this is his wife gwendolyn wendy chadwick and they run a bookshop and stationery shop <laughs> that's what they sell um they both love family life books and creativity they both vote green they both like arts crafts and practical skills and they're a little bit buddhist like they have a buddha and a few quotes from the dalai lama in the house you know in books and things um they don't have a tv in the house they're far too middle class they want their children to enjoy art and um, flora that's flora she's 10 she likes music and art uh, leaf that's the hippie name that's the middle child he's nine he's gonna get a little hat to cover that dreadful hair <laughs> he likes art and toys and the baby is daisy she's six months old the oh the dog we need the dog wait stay there i'm gonna get the dog We've had so many arguments about this dog. It, it's, I thought it, my husband thought it was a cat. Few people thought it was a cat. 
I thought it was a French bulldog. We've all decided now, I think, that it is a Boston Terrier. There he is. Let's get a better picture. That it's a Boston Terrier. So that's the dog, and he's called Bossy. And <laughs> there's also going to be a cat called Biscuit. Biscuit hasn't arrived yet, but when Biscuit does arrive, we're going to look at it because I've had such a hilarious idea of how to deal with the cat. So I'll show you that when it arrives. So because I've got a stupid little backstory, it means I know a bit about what my house is going to look like. It's going to look like hippies live there. It's creative. Um, it won't have to have a horrible TV in it because I think that's going to spoil the look of it. Plenty of bookshelves and things. Well, enough. <laughs> Not loads. But bookshelves and um, I'm going to make some art supplies and things. People wanted me to do that. Make a little... Uh, make the part of the loft into like a craft room so that's my plans that's my little family and oh i didn't know it doesn't show it on there but um this uh, the next door this lady here she owns the shop next door to their shop yeah so she does cake decorating and sells cakes in her shop next door to their bookshop and stationery shop and um her name is julie mendy and her husband um, is a an accountant called Samuel and she's expecting their first child <laughs> so, <laughs> and her and Wendy have a running gag because Wendy says good job I didn't marry your husband or I'd be called Wendy Mendy <laughs> so <laughs> Okay, the madness is over. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this kind of freakish video, like, subscribe, leave your comments and questions down below and I will see you again. I love you all. Bye-bye.